great to be with you. 239-9393, Facebook, Tony Katz Radio. And uh, there's a, a really interesting story going around. Uh-oh, wait a second. My God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay, What's the procedure? stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. What's going on? Holy crap, I am freaking out. Freaking out indeed. The story is that the ACLU has hit a whole new level of peak hysteria. The hysteria forecast for America is at, well, um, uh, America. The ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union, is upset with the amount of times President Donald Trump used the word America in the State of the Union. Let me read it. To, I can't make this up. No, why are you asking? Why is anybody asking if I just made this up? I can hear you, people. No, how would I make this up? I have not done enough meth in my life to be able to come up with this kind of crazy. Tonight, uh, writes uh, Faiz uh, Shakir, the national political director for the ACLU, President Trump said the word America more than 80 times in his speech. Yet after a divisive first year, we hear and feel how exclusionary that quote-unquote America is with policies that have harmed so many vulnerable American communities. The ACLU stands ready to protect these communities, both in the courts and at the polls. First, I want to know what policy instituted in the United States of America has hurt. The policy where you keep more of your dollars via uh, a tax cut? The policy where we reduce regulations so we can have businesses actually focusing on their business and not on government paperwork? The idea of, of what? You want to talk about uh, putting an end to the nonsense of net neutrality, which hasn't changed your internet one iota. You're still uh, listening to this show. If you're streaming it, you're still watching it on Facebook Live. What, what, what policy has hurt? Now, if you're going to talk about conversations about travel and people coming into the country and vetting and things like that, no, 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 no. You don't get, that's a completely separate subject. We need to be talking about the American people. We need to be talking about the American citizenry. You're opposed to the idea that he used the word America in a speech and you think it was exclusionary? Was the tax cut only for some and not all? Well, tell that to Corey, the guy from Ohio who's now able to buy a house. Tell that to all the people who got bonuses from Fifth Third Bank and AT&T. Uh, and, and, and a whole host of, of other businesses. Tell that, uh, to the people who are going to benefit from Apple bringing back $245 billion. Tell that to the people of Indianapolis, Indiana, when people like FedEx invest $1.5 billion into this city. Yeah, some people have lost their jobs. Yes, some things have been offshored. And yes, it's awful. But you don't notice that there's growth everywhere, that consumer confidence is through the roof, that people feel that everything is possible. And don't you find it, ACLU, just a little bit silly that you think that he used the word America too much when your name is the American Civil Liberties Union? Um, there's a whole thing about protesting too much, and I don't want to have to get, get, get into uh, doing cliche kind of quotes. Um, but this Trump hate that the American left has is going to backfire. As a matter of fact, it's already starting to backfire. If you want to have policy disagreements, go right ahead. If you want to start screaming that the president of the United States says America too much and it's rude, well, then um, you're as crazy as we think you are. And 2018 looks fantastic. I'm Tony Katz.